So now we need to go through and we're going to need to add some things. So I'm actually thinking that the best thing is uh, rather than you just watch me type, I'm actually going to copy some code out of my completed one and I'll just talk through this code. So I'm just going to grab this and I'll close it up. Now I'm doing this because I think it's better for me to actually talk through it. So we don't need, I'm just going to make this appropriate. We don't need that. We don't need this. You'll see how this where this prefix.txt comes in later. So I'm just taking it out so that we go to where we need to be. So first of all, what I'm creating here is a name for the drawing that we're going to create. Here, this whole chunk of code is going to create the tone module and it's going to create the tone drawing, that drawing. So this is the name for the drawing and that's just a variable with a name. Then we're creating a variable called element ID and this is going to be actually a drawing element. So element.add, we're going to use a name, so basically sticking a name in here. Then you, know, you can look this up in the help, what these exact things mean. But basically, these are sort of default settings that you'll always use for a drawing. TVG, if you're wondering, stands for Toon Boom Vector. And yeah, so that's your Toon Boom Vector drawings. And I think it stands for Toon Boom Vector Graphics. So yeah, it's basically just a drawing with the Toon Boom Vectors. And you can look through and see but these are sort of the default settings if you look in the help that you'll use for adding a drawing. So then I'm going to create a variable which will keep a track of the node. And I'm going to add a new node for this element. And basically this is going to make it appear in the network view. Then you need to add a couple of columns. If the column already exists, you'll get thrown back an error. But if you don't have these columns, it won't you know, create the drawing correctly. So you add, add for the actual tone. So it's grabbing its element name in here, which is basically, I'm just, I'm just reusing its element name over and over. And you're just going to create a drawing. And then that's going to be one column. And then you're going to set the number of element, the set the ID of it. By taking up here, you can see where you've put the you created the element ID and made it equal to this new element. So it's going to be equal. This new ID is automatically going to be equal to this new drawing that you've created. So when you add the element ID of the drawing, that'll automatically be correct because of this line of code. And then I'm going to just link the link the attributes of the drawing to the element name. Again, you can see I, that's why I created this node, an element ID, a, a name. You'll see that we'll use them over and over. For more in-depth description of these, you just go to the help, and the help will give you what each of these variables means. Then I'm going to add a node, and this is going to be the, the tone module. So this is the code you always use to add the tone module. And basically here is where you're going to add it. So I'm adding it to the root of the scene. I'm naming it Tone. This, although I've given it the same name here, this is actually the type. And then here, these X, Y, Z coordinates are actually the X, Y, Z coordinates in network view. So not in your actual scene, it's where they appear in the network view. Then you use this link, to, and I'm using that to link the drawing to the actual tone module. These numbers here are the ports. 
generally they'll be on just on zero unless you want to do anything different but I do I want it to appear into the left port and so that's why it's changed to one and so now hopefully if we save this you'll be able to see this Okay, we have an error, so I'm just going to go forward and fix this error up. I can't obviously see what this error is. Trying to access un undefined member chat. Okay, I'm just going to pause this for a second. Okay, I see my mistake. I actually meant to do checked here. And checked here. So now, hopefully it'll run. And here you go, we've created a tone. And this is what I meant about the which node it goes into. If it, if it was on zero, this would be going to this node here. Because it's one, I've got it going into the left node. So that's what we're up to at the moment. In the next part, we'll continue on and do the same thing for the highlight.